Hello everyone. My name is Stevie Mathis and I'm a senior majoring in Global Studies at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. While hosting an exchange student from Germany several years ago, I became very interested in her country and culture. Since then, I've had the opportunity to spend a total of five months in Germany, which is located here in Western Europe. I spent most of my time in Germany exploring the country, immersing myself in the culture, and teaching English here to a group of Turkish and German students. At one point, I remember emailing my mom and telling her, Germany's old is so much older than America's old. In this presentation, I'll explain what I meant by that comment and share some important historical sites with you. I hope you enjoy! During my stay in Germany, I lived in the small town of Detmold, which is located here, in the northwest of Germany. This is a photo of downtown Detmold. What do you notice in this photo which is different from your hometown? I first got a sense of Germany's long history when I visited the Arminius Monument, located only a few miles from my home in Detmold. This monument commemorates a battle which took place nearby in the year 9 AD. That was over 2,000 years ago. After losing this decisive battle, the Roman army gave up on trying to conquer northern Germania. Now that's ancient history. Wattenberg ob der Tauber is a well-preserved medieval town located here in southern Germany. The name of the town means Red Fortress above the Tauber River. The fortified castle and the surrounding town date back to 1070 AD. In other words, the town was established 706 years before the signing of the United States Declaration of Independence. More recently, the town has served as inspiration for the village in Walt Disney's Pinocchio. You may even recognize the town from a few scenes in the film Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Neuschwanstein Castle, located in southern Germany, was commissioned by King Ludwig II of Bavaria. During his life, Ludwig II was blamed for Germany's financial ruin due to the lavish castles which were built at his request. Ironically, these castles are now very profitable tourist attractions and help provide economic stability for the region. Ludwig II died before the completion of the castle, which remains uncompleted to this day. Walt Disney used this beautiful castle as the basis for the design of Sleeping Beauty's Castle, which opened in 1955 in Anaheim, California. Now, let's visit a few sites in Berlin. Do you know why Berlin is an important city? As you may have known, Berlin is the capital city of Germany. The Brandenburg Gate, located in Berlin, was commissioned in 1788 by King Frederick Wilhelm II of Prussia. Built as an architectural symbol of peace, the gate also became a symbol of freedom during the revolutions of 1989, in which millions used the site to express their desire to unify Germany and end the Cold War. The Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church was built during the 1890s. As you can see, the spire of the church is severely damaged. This damage occurred during World War II. Instead of being torn down to make room for a new church, the damaged portion was preserved and the new church was built beside it. After visiting a few of Germany's historical sites with me, you may understand what I meant by Germany's old is so much older than America's old. Although Germany, like America, is quite modern, Germany does an excellent job of preserving old buildings and sites. Old buildings are often given new life as they are preserved and repurposed for modern use. 
This traditional structure, which was built in the early 1700s, is now a pharmacy on the ground floor with living space above. Why do you think it's important to preserve historical buildings and sites? I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Auf Wiedersehen!